My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How is Mass Determined in Physics? Before we start, it's important to note that mass and weight are two different things. Mass is a property of matter that is independent of where it is in the universe, and weight is a gravitational force that does depend on where you are in the universe. So, for this simple example, we have the Earth, which has a mass, and we have a mass of interest that we want to calculate, which is attached to one end of a rope slung over a pulley, and a man on the other side that is forcing down the rope with some tension force. So if we know how much force the man is applying on this end of the rope, then we can actually determine what the mass of this object is provided that it's not moving, provided that it's not accelerating. So for that, we simply have a force balance where we have the force of gravity acting on one end and the tension force on the other. So we can equate them. And we know that the gravitational force on this mass is equal to the mass times the gravitational acceleration g where g is approximately equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. If the tension force, for example, is known to be 50 newtons, then we have a simple formula here in terms of these two forces involved where we can solve for the mass. So we have mg is equal to 50, Therefore, the mass is equal to 50 divided g. If we plug in these two numbers, we have the mass is approximately equal to 5.1 kilograms, where kilograms is the SI unit for mass. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How is Mass Determined in Physics?